Hey guys, it's me, Glee Simmer, um, and I just, this is, like, gonna be a questions and answers and about this account and everything, but, um, there's gonna be, like, a slideshow going on in the background. I mean, that's all I have to say here, but, just so, I, you weren't, it wasn't, like, one boring picture screen. Hey guys, it's me, Glee Simmer, and... I felt the need to make this updates video because I, like, never do, um, so I'm basically just responding to comments that you guys have said in the past, um, kinda just telling you where I am. So, first off, the reason I hadn't been posting was not because perhaps was down or whatever, um, it was because someone hacked my computer, and I'm not even lying, um, the site came up and it said that if I did not call this number, my computer wouldn't continue and everything was frozen. So I called this number and they said it was like a common problem and I had to download this program and it seemed like legit because they like ha looked like they had a reliable website. And so I downloaded it and then all of a sudden my mouse starts moving and I'm not doing it and this guy says I have to pay $500 and my computer, and he's downloading all these viruses, and I can't get him to stop, and so basically, now my computer is, like, full of bugs, like, it cleans up slowly and slowly, and so, like, it's getting better and stuff, but basically, that was that, um, so that's why, like, everything, everything on my computer was negatively affected, and I do not have the budget to replace my laptop, so... That was basically just what I had to do. Um, so if any of you are wondering about that, that is that. Um, okay, now to the questions. So basically, um, just looking at this, um, everyone says, are you trying to sound like Life Simmer? Are you trying to sound like Life Simmer on purpose? Are you, this, are you Life Simmer? And no, no, guys, I'm not. <laughs> not even joking. I'm not, I swear. Um, I've been watching her videos since, like, she, like, for a really long time. I'm trying to, I can't pinpoint when, but, so, like, literally people have noticed I take up some of her dialect sometimes in, like, real life. Okay, and that sounds crazy and obsessive, and you know what? Okay, fine, I admit it. Like, I say, what is it, like, douche canoe? She says that all the time. I say that all the time. Um, and swiggity swooty. <laughs> Coming for that booty. I say that too, okay? So, yeah, it's I'm not, like, trying to copy her. And if it sounds like I'm not giving her credit for a living, I love her. Follow Life Simmer. She's my life. Um, Etc. So, yeah, um, I'm not trying to sound like her. Like, at, like... Okay, I said, hi, I'm Glee Simmer, and that sounded like Life Simmer, and I was trying to do that, because I loved that, but everything else, like, that was just Anna. Um, that's just the way I do things. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Then everyone kept asking about the cigarette mod video. It is the same mod there anywhere for the Mac? Um, I don't have any Mac computers or anything. So I don't understand how The Sims 3 works for Mac, um, and I wish I could tell you, like, I'm really sorry. Um, then why haven't you uploaded? Uh, I just said my computer got hacked. Um, and how do you get mods in your game? People kind of responded to that, um, to watch the one by Sophie Sims. Um, S-O-F-E-E-S-I-M-S -E -E dash X. I can't remember which one I watched to learn how to install mods. I did watch a YouTube video. Um, but if you guys want me to do a video on how to do that, I definitely will. Um, when your sim smokes a cigarette, do they die from it? Someone responded, no, they just get addicted to them, which is true. But over time, like, their mood just gets really down, and they end up, like, <laughs> in one of my accounts, this guy ended up, he was literally had to smoke, like, every freaking minute of the day to be, like, okay at all. So, 
just be aware of that. They don't die, but they're, like, dead. Like, I mean, it's, like... I mean, it's not completely realistic, obviously, but it's pretty legit. Um, please tell how to get the maps and mods. What does the maps mean? Maps? Um, how to get mods, again, if you guys want a video on that, I'll do that, but... Boy, Jeremy MacRae, I don't know what you're talking about, about maps, because... Um, do you want to doubt, mean, like, custom worlds? Uh, I can do that. That's not that hard. Um, someone said, what was the pop-up for at 754 in the cigarette mods? Let me just, um, play it for a minute and tell you. Okay, the pop-up at 754 basically just says, it is part of the Enros, um, mods. It is, I don't know if it's watch over or story progression. But basically was just asking me if I wanted to, um, basically, with that mod you can get rid of all the homeless sims, so basically everyone who you, your sims talk to will live in the town, which can be nice because, like, if you're gonna marry one of them, they'll actually bring, like, money, or you can move into their household, etc, etc, like, they're not just that random guy, um, who works at the, like, you know festival or whatever, like, those people actually will live near town, which is pretty nice. I kind of like that. Um, a lot, so. And then some people are saying the story progression mod slows it down. I don't know if this is true. Um, maybe it does for your computer. Like, even my computer that has a lot of glitches, it doesn't slow down. So I kind of kept it, but if it slows down your computer, I mean, I wouldn't keep it, but I literally can't live without it. Um, and... I could tell you why. I mean, I'll, do you guys want a video on the story progression mod and the pros and cons? Because I will totally do that. Um, where's part two? Do you guys want me to make a part two of that video? I mean, did you like it that much? Um, I'm sorry because of the quality. Uh, but yeah, totally do that if you guys want me to. Okay, um... So I downloaded this mod and it's a RAR file, so I opened it with Kika, and then it opens to an icon of a blank white page, and then you open that and it turns into a zip, and I opened that, and then it opens to another icon of a blank page, and then it turns into another zip. Okay. You're using Kika, and I don't use Kika. I recommend using 7-Zip, that's what I have always used, and it works on basically everything. Like, at first I had a problem with RAR, but eventually it would work. Um, the only mod that I've ever had that problem with, like, some I just don't even feel like trying, though, like, I know I could do it, um, was the Hospital Overhaul mod, which still, I don't know, that one has been bringing some glitches into my game, but I think it's still worth it. Um... But I recommend using 7-Zip, like, I've never tried Kika, so I can't really say anything bad about it, but 7-Zip has always, like, worked really well for me, and even, like, I've had things turn into a white page bef before, so I do know what you mean, like, I just, I recommend 7-Zip, <laughs> um, 7-Zip when opening, um, zip files and extracting and such, and sometimes if it doesn't work on 7-Zip, when you just click extract, you can extract here or extract to another location, and sometimes that just does the trick. Okay, and some people say, um, my fun goes up when the sims use it, when the sim is using it, but the fun going up actually isn't, and I think that's just, like, a Sims 3 glitch in general, like, I don't know, actually, you know what? I literally have no idea. Sometimes, ugh. Mm. Sometimes, I mean, it probably glitches and whatever. I mean, I haven't experienced that glitch personally. But yeah, uninstalling probably seems smart. Um, and no, that mod did not give me any viruses. I mean, I have a lot of viruses on my computer, but I can basically keep track of where they all come from, and most of it was, was fr from the hacker. Like, one or two was from glitchy custom content, but I really haven't experienced, like, any major, like, death-threatening glitches to my game, except when I tried to install an HD mod that my game couldn't handle. Um, 
could I make Supernatural LPs? I haven't really ever played with Supernatural. Like, I have it, and I use it sometimes. Um, right now, my current household has, like, a vampire in it, what, and so, but I've never, I've always wanted to do one, but I never have, so if you guys want me to do a Supernatural LP, just comment below. Does the mod affect social attribute when there are multiple smokers smoking together? And does it have any effect on the non-smokers? Is there increased risk of fire? No, there is no social tribute. A tribute. Um, <laughs> does it have any effect on non-smokers? No, it does not. They, like, which is unrealistic. Like, there's no secondhand smoke or anything like that. And no, there's no increased risk of fire. So... As you see, like, the mod isn't comple completely realistic because it is The Sims 3, you know? Don't base your life off of that, guys. <laughs> Can my Sim smoke while she is pregnant? Um, like, is it safe for the baby? I mean, <laughs> in real life, no. Don't smoke if you're pregnant, and it won't be safe for the baby. But in the game, it doesn't affect it at all because it's, like not linked to the pregnancy because, I mean, it's a user-created mod and it would have to be really complicated to do that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, so basically that's all the questions. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please respond to all my comments and questions and say what you would like to see out of this YouTube account below because I would really like to hear what you guys had to say, and thank you so much for, like, 100 subscribers, and, uh, I hope, um, this was, like, either, um, answered some of your questions, or you can kind of help me push this account in the right direction, because I'm not sure what you guys want me to do with it, and I will definitely try and upload more. So, thanks, see you guys later.